Hello everyone. This video features the new integrated arpeggiator and phrase player, making the process of creating musical patterns in Pad Shop a lot of fun. Let's get right to it. Okay, here on the art page, I can set up arpeggios, multiple controller lanes, and even export patterns to my doll for further use. For example, I can just set my arpeggiator to on and start creating. I only have one step selected, so now I'm going to set the number of steps to 8 by dragging the bar here. Okay, one of the functions that the arpeggiator can do is change the velocity settings by painting on values. I can easily paint and change settings to my liking by changing the velocities to make, let's say, crescendos or demi nuendos. So I can create my own velocity settings extremely easy in a matter of seconds. And of course, I can create notes and select a pitch of every step to my liking. For example, I can set step 2 to 7, maybe step 4 to 8. How about step 6 to 10 and step 8 to 12? Okay, just like that, I can quickly create my own patterns. Now, it doesn't end there. Let's say I want to create another lane. I can paint a pattern and assign lane 1 to any controller that I desire. So, I'm going to show you how to assign it now. I can go to my destination and add cutoff, and then change the depth to a value that I like. Okay, let's have a listen. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, for the second lane, I can repeat the process, but choosing a different modulation. I'm going to select the resonance and play around with the depth. Very cool. Okay, now let's repeat the process again and add some panning to lane 3. Okay, paint the controller lane, then select pan here in destination. Okay, let's start playing the phrase. Wonderful. In the ARP and Phrase Player page, you can easily design these musical patterns with up to 32 steps. Now I'm going to show you a fast tip on how to create longer phrases by using the duplicate phrase function. Okay, let's click the duplicate phrase button. Great, now it's duplicated. Okay, so we can also shift a phrase left or right like this. Or we can reverse the phrase. After duplicating and shifting our phrases, we can go back and edit our pattern. Now let's change step 9 and 11's values back to 0. Now I'm going to click here on step 8 to define the legato. And now I'm going to edit the length of step 8 by dragging it to the right all the way over to step 13. Okay, fantastic. Now let's say that we want to edit our pattern in our doll. Next, I'm going to show you how to do that. Click Enable Arpeggiator Record here. Now let's record our phrase by triggering a key on our keyboard. 
Okay, great. Let's turn off record and drag our phrase into the doll. Okay, there it is. I see it. Now let's play the phrase in the doll. Okay, if you are not into programming your own rhythms, no problem. Just load one of these pre-produced phrases and you'll be ready to start creating your sound. All right, very awesome. I hope you have enjoyed learning about the brand new integrated arpeggiator and phrase player in Patch Up 2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Cheers.